Do you believe in that Mount St. Helens story? I sure do. I know old Fred Beck who told me about it. The way old Beck told it to me, he and three other fellers was working a mine back in 1924 called the Vanderwijk Mine. They'd been prospecting, pan a little gold up in the Lewis River country. This is near Mount St. Helens for going on six years. They was doing pretty well, too. They'd seen a lot of tracks around during the years, and they always just figured them to be tracks of a big engine that was still roaming the hills. On this ticketer day, one of them come back from town with a new assay. It was a dandy. They discovered a pretty good strike of gold, all things considered. They're all kind of excited. They decide to knock off for the day and celebrate their good fortune. They headed back for the cabin as usual, along an old, well-used trail. And hear the sounds of footsteps behind him, and off the sides too. Sure, follow them. they got back to the cabin, they were pretty scared. Charlie was more scared than the others. And the sounds of those footsteps, it seemed to him like there was more than one of them things out there, whatever it was. Decided they'd eat a quick supper and go to bed. They had heard nothing more from the trees, and they figured that whatever there was out there had gone away. for most of the night. Sometimes it was still, and other times it increased. <laughs> Luck kept crashing down, the cabin kept shaking, and they kept shooting. But they never knew if they hit one of them. 
Well, just before dawn, the attack stopped. All around the cabin were large footprints of critters. They was over 18 inches long. And there's a ton or two of rocks that had been thrown down from the ledge. Fred said the apes had did everything they could to get into the cabin. It was built too solid. To this day, that canyon is called Ape Canyon. Fred always did say to his 